Okay, so welcome back to my new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can insert uh, documents into your collections. Okay, so we're going to start with inserting a single document. And then in the later videos, um, we will insert many um, documents into our collections. So let's jump right into the IDE. So as you can see, I'm already in the IDE and in our previous um, lesson on how you, we can list databases and then um, we can print out some records from our collection. So I'm going to comment out all these pieces of code here. Um, code comment. Okay, so I've commented on all this. So I'm going to start with and set single document. Okay, and then we're going to also do and set many document. Okay, I'm going to start with defining a struct. Okay, so I'm going to define the struct here, which I'm going to call type. So if you haven't uh, watched my video on struct, um, you can check it out. So I'm going to call it books. Okay, because we are using the books collection. Okay, so as you can see, we are using the books collection with this um, attribute in there. ISBN, title of the book, and then the author. The author has a first name and last name. Okay, so let's go back and define our book strat. We're going to start with ISBN. So it's a string type. And then we're going to also have the um, title, which is also a string type, as well as the author. Okay. The author has a, a map. So I'm going to use the map. And then the key is going to be a string. And then the value is also going to be a string. Okay. So that is all to our book strat. Okay. So now I'm going to say books. I'm now calling the book strat. Okay. I'm going to pass in the ISBN. Um, I can give it this unique ID, the title of the book is Apache Pulsar, okay, and then the author is a map, so we're going to say map, and then we're going to define the first name. And then the value is two, and then we pass in last name. Then we're gonna say the last name is go data prof. Okay, so this is our book strat. So this is more like a single document, okay? Um, so I'm gonna call the collection. How did I name it? Um, okay, so let me comment out this part. So we have the con collections. We connect into this database and then this collection called books. 
So I'm say collection dot insert. So you can see we have insert one and then insert many. So we're going to select the insert one and then we pass in our context as well as our data. Okay. And the data is in this form, BSON. Okay, so let me do this. So the data is um, BSON. And then I'm going to pass in books. I'm going to say, Okay, so that is one data. The second data. And then the third one. So I'm going to say the key is ISBN. And then the value is books.isbn. So it's going to pull this value here. 10, 20. So I'm going to do the same for title, say books dot title. Going to pass in the author. Going to say books dot author. Okay. So now I'm going to pass this data into our insert one. So this is the data. And this insert one returns results, results set, okay? As well as the error. So let me suppress the error. So I'm assuming nothing is gonna happen. So I'm suppressing the error. So now I can say FMT, dot print, printf, I'm going to say inserted record with ID percentage V, that is the value. And then I'm going to say resource set dot inserted ID. Okay, so that is all to it. So we have our strats and then we initialize this attributes with these values. And then now we prepare our document. Okay, we prepare our data or our document. So this is our data or um, record. Some people can call it records or some somebody can say it's a document, okay. So um, let's just call it doc or docs. That is fine. I'm going to say docs here. So now let's run this program and see what we get. So you can see a printed inserted record with ID. Okay, so the last one is for the last value there here. here is um, A2. Okay, so let's go into our MongoDB. So you can see this is the new record that was inserted. Okay, so you can see the first name too, and then the last name is Go Data Prof, Apache Pulsar, and then the ISBN. Okay, you can see the object ID. Okay. Okay, so this was the last record that was inserted. All right. Okay, so now let's go back into our IDE. Now we want to insert a bunch of records. Okay, so let me copy this.
and then paste it here. Now, um, we want to define some an interface. So um, let's call it, okay, let's call it collections dot insert many. Okay, so you can see insert many takes a context and then a document, which is a list of interfaces and then some other options. So now let's see, we pass in our uh, context and then we say docs many. Okay, so that is what we are passing, but we don't have docs many yet. So we're gonna say docs many, and then it's an interface, list of interface. So we're gonna do that. Once we do that, we can now paste in our document, our first document. And this is going to be our second document. Okay, so uh, let me change. Um, so let me comment out. Okay, so let me just make it 21 Apache Bossa V2. This one is Don Dre. I'm gonna just make this data prof. So this is our books. Um, let me do create another instance of this book. Okay, so let me call it books two and then call this one 1022. This one is V3. Um, I'm gonna call this Dallas. And then this one is cartel. Okay, so now I have two books. Okay, two strat objects. So what I can do here is I'm gonna say books, the first book and then the second book. So I'm gonna say books two, two, two. Okay. So you see this one is now happy because I'm making use of it. Um, yeah, so let me comment out this. Okay, because we just inserted it. Um, so let me comment out this. So now I can now print results set, suppress the error. And okay, I can now see FMT the print F inserted records with ID percentage V the value and then I pass in result set. Okay, result set. Dot. Okay, so I suppose resource set dot inserted ID. Okay, so that is also I'm inserting two documents into our collection. So let's run this. You see, inserted records with ID. This is the first ID. And then this is the second ID. Okay, so let's go back into our MongoDB. So you can see we've inserted 
these two records. You see 1021 and 1022. Okay, Dallas Cartel, Dundre, and Data Prof. Okay, so that is how you can insert multiple um, documents into your MongoDB with Golang. So um, thanks for watching. If you don't understand anything, please leave your comment in the comment section below and then I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like it and share with friends. I'll see you in the next one.